Operation guides for making silicon rubber mold of large culture stone. Prepare all tools we need. Cut some suitable flat balls and make some marks so that we can control the quantity of the silicon rubber better. Clean the surface of the mold and brush a layer of detergent on the mold evenly. Surround the mold with the flat balls and seal the slits with hot metal glue. Choose the type of silicon rubber which depends on the structure, the size, and the usage of the mold. The culture stone size is 15 multiplied by 15 cm, and it has a simple structure. So here we use Hongye HY628 silicon rubber. Mix the silicon rubber with the curing agent evenly, then take it to vacuum pump. The proportion of the curing agent should be 2% to 5%. Then come to negative 0.1 MPa, which can exhaust the bubbles from the silicon rubber mold, or it could leave some granules on the surface of the product. Reduce the curing agent's proportion if you don't have a vacuum pump machine, which can extend the curing time to exhaust the bubbles. Pour the first layer of silicon rubber on the mold, which is thicker than the second one. Smooth the silicon rubber and cover two to three layers of fiberglass mesh. The mesh can increase the tension and strength of the silicon rubber mold. Smooth the mesh and then pour the second layer of silicon rubber.
Remove the surrounding balls after the silicone rubber is cured completely. Take out the silicone rubber mold and trim it. For the moment, the operation is finished. The silicone rubber mold can be used into production after 24 hours and it should be stored in ventilated, cool and dry place.